what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the easiest ways by far to get a tactical nuke in call of duty modern warfare 2. the tactical nuke in modern warfare 2 is one of the most iconic kill streaks in call of duty history and is definitely the one that caused the most buzz when this game came out it's so much more rewarding and satisfying and exciting to get a tactical nuke than it is to get any other kill streak in any other call of duty game now a lot of you might be thinking why do you need to make this video everybody kind of knows how to make how to get a nuke or it's really easy to get a tactical nuke in modern warfare 2 uh and the reason that i'm making this video is because the game was just recently made backwards compatible for the xbox one which means a lot of people who didn't really get the chance to play modern warfare 2 back in the day are now jumping on the game and playing it maybe for the first time uh, and with that being said they probably don't know some of the little tips and tricks that were very commonly known in the community back in the day so I wanted to share those with you guys now before we get started there's a couple of things that I want to let you guys know and kind of just to keep in the back of your head as far as like tactics that we're gonna be using uh, the first one is that I highly recommend having a headset because sound in this game is really really valuable uh, this isn't like some of the later Call of Duties you can really really hear your enemies really well you can hear their footsteps you can predict how close they are to you uh, sound is incredible in this game so definitely use a headset the second thing is that you're gonna be playing a lot more defensively using the strategies that I'm gonna be giving you um, yes that means you might be capping a little bit uh, but if the if the goal is to get 25 kills without dying you don't want to die so you want to be playing as passively as you can to ensure that you survive the third thing I want to mention is that there are two game modes that it's easiest to get a tactical nuke in my personal favorite is actually free-for-all but a lot of people prefer to do it in domination because those matches tend to last longer than a uh, team deathmatch plus there's not a kill limit um, it's very difficult to get a nuke in team deathmatch if your team is even slightly competent so most likely there won't be enough kills throughout the entire team for you to get 25 of them before the game is over um, so most people choose domination over team deathmatch but personally uh, you only need 25 kills to get the nuke you can get 30 kills to win a free-for-all which means you could easily get the nuke within a free-for-all anyway those are the things that I want you guys to know also these are not the only ways to get a nuke these are just the ways that I've used to get to like really good success you know I've gotten tons of nukes back in the day I get just as many nukes now um, I, I don't know with all these new people playing they're not really shooting down streaks and I'm not really sure why I think it's because people don't shoot down streaks in newer Call of Duties because the streaks and new CODs are terrible uh, so people are kind of in the habit of not shooting them down I don't know what the case is uh, but let's just jump right into it obviously it goes without saying this is my kill streak setup uh, I really enjoy the Harrier chopper gunner tactical nuke some people like to use the AC 130 instead personally uh, I don't think it's worth it like I said the, the the benefit is that the AC 130 has two flares which means it takes three rockets to shoot it down whereas the chopper gunner has one flare and it that means it takes two rockets to shoot it down so it's easier to shoot down the chopper gunner but I feel like you just get more kills with it uh, so as long as you don't get shot down immediately the chopper gunner is definitely your best bet plus I feel like it's easier to like shoot into windows and buildings and stuff like that so that's why I picked the chopper gunner uh, if you guys didn't know kill streaks actually do stack in this game which means if you get your Harrier and your Harrier gets four kills that means you have a chopper gunner no matter what and if your chopper gunner gets the remainder of the kills then you get your tactical nuke so that's what makes this strategy super effective uh, and getting the remainder of the kills with the chopper gunner is not that difficult so I'm gonna go over a couple of classes here uh, they all have a little bit different of a strategy again all playing defensively this is the first class I'm using the FAMAS with the red dot site because you guys already know the iron sights on the FAMAS are not very good uh, the G18s I have really the secondary you can pick whatever you want but I wanted something that I could easily spray close range because I don't like using a three round burst weapon at close range so if I can quickly switch to my G18 akembos I can just spray and pray um, typically if you find a gun that's better than the g18s just pick it up as long as it's safe um, and take that instead um, but you know it's just a good secondary to have again you could switch this with a shotgun or whatever else you want to do 
Um, I have the claymores on here because claymores are incredibly powerful in this game, especially if you're playing defensively and holding down a certain area. The claymores click and explode very, very quickly. And the only perk that counters it is called sit rep, which is actually a perk three. Uh, and literally nobody uses it because you have ninja pro, which makes you silent. You have commando pro, which gives you ridiculously increased melee distance plus no fall damage. You have steady aim for lower levels for people who don't have commando pro yet. And even last stand is sometimes used by like people who just want to use it or they just want to be trolls. So with nobody running the counters to the claymore, you might as well use it. It's just better than using a frag grenade. If you're playing defensively, the stun grenade is something that I picked because both stun and flash are incredibly powerful in this game they both disorient your t your enemy very very much but the stun grenades you actually throw faster so whichever one you throw faster is better for me um, so i'm gonna pick that every single time for perk one i pick sleight of hand pro uh, this lets you aim down sights faster as well as reload super fast um, typically i like scavenger because i'm a little bit weird i'd rather have extra ammo but honestly it's easy to pick up another player's weapon and all the weapons in this game are pretty powerful so it doesn't really matter plus you only need need seven kills uh, in order to get your Harrier and that's gonna take you most of the way to your nuke so you should be able to get a decent amount of kills without running out of ammo because it's a three-round burst your shots if they're on point you're not really gonna run out of ammo um, and like I said you know knife is one shot kill in this game so you can use that if you sneak up behind somebody then that's a free kill you don't have to waste ammo plus you could just pick up ammo on the ground now for perk 2 most people always run stopping power because it's a 40 percent damage boost for free um but i feel like the famas is pretty much one of the most powerful weapons in the game i'm pretty sure even without stopping power it's a uh, one burst kill so as long as you get two bursts in you're pretty much gonna kill them every single time with or without stopping power uh so that's why i picked the famas to use for this class because you don't need stopping power um, I picked danger close pro for two reasons one because it increases your explosive damage which makes your claymores more powerful and two uh, it actually gives you better air support damage so it actually makes your chopper gunner even more powerful which is insane because the chopper gunner is really good as it is um, and so what I did was instead of having a instead of having stopping power which boosts your kills before your kill streaks i decided to use danger close pro to make your chopper gunner get even more kills and i feel like you know that's really what you need getting hit markers with the chopper gunner is not fun at all you want to get as many kills with it as possible um so that's why i picked that and then finally ninja pro because you are silent which is absolutely amazing plus you don't show up on heart rate or heartbeat sensors um, which they're not super common but it's still better to stay off the radar really you're we're only using this for the silent footsteps uh, and then we have painkiller because painkiller you get after i think three deaths or two deaths i'm not sure three deaths yeah so <clears throat> yeah painkiller goes without saying you get like 10 seconds of like double hp or something i don't know exactly what the multiplier is but yeah it says big health boost so it's probably not double but it's at least 50 percent uh, because it's it's crazy so yeah you might as well use it hopefully you don't need to use it if you're getting a nuke but it's just the best one to have and that is that for the first class like i said use the famas it's super powerful gets you that harrier the harrier gets you the chopper gunner which is boosted with the danger close and then that should get you pretty close to your nuke um let's move on to the next one this is the ump 45 i have the silencer on this weapon as well as the m93 rafikas uh rafika sorry it's only one that also has a silencer the reason i'm using silencer is again you want to stay off the radar you want to play very defensively you don't want people to know where you are especially if you're playing free for all you're going to be having a whole bunch of people know where you are on the radar once you fire without that silencer also the ump 45 is one of the most powerful guns in the game by far you can basically use this thing as an assault rifle even with your silencer um so yeah this gun is just super good and it can definitely handle the damage drop that you get from the silencer because of how powerful it is right out of the box the Raficas are just a little bit more accurate and I just feel more comfortable using them. Um, I, the reason I don't use the G18s or a shotgun or anything is because I can kind of spray with the UMP. So really, if I want something slightly more accurate, it's the Raficas plus 
um, it's easier to manage the ammo of a three round burst weapon so you're less likely to run out of ammo with your Rafka as opposed to if you were using like the g18s or whatever again claymore and stun grenades because you're gonna be playing defensively those are like the best I'm gonna be running those on every class that we talk about in this video now again I'm not using stopping power and that's because the UMP 45 is really powerful like I said even without stopping power without your silencer this gun is still going to melt people especially at close range so using hardline is actually just a little bit easier it's kind of a crutch it means you get your nuke at 24 kills instead of 25 and your harriers at only six kills so think about that you can get a nuke for only getting six gun kills like absolutely insane plus your claymore might get you a kill so really five gun kills gets you a tactical nuke that's incredible so that's why i picked uh hardline pro plus it gets you your painkiller earlier you if you die twice without kills um then you'll get your painkiller which is really easy in this game because you might die a lot so there's that plus you have ninja again it's just a really really great perk three uh, and that's pretty much it so again don't run and gun with this play pretty defensively hold down like a building and that's a lot easier said than done when in free-for-all than a, as opposed to domination uh, but yeah just hold down like a section on the map a building of the map or whatever or like a, a side of the map and and really just play defensively and pick off people that you know that you can get the kill without them killing you I know that sounds self-explanatory but uh, just don't be overly aggressive um, especially because you know like I said this gun does melt but if somebody has a UMP without the silencer with stopping power they're probably gonna win the gunfight so yeah definitely uh, play a little bit more defensively but this is still an incredible class I get a decent amount of nukes with this class super easy the next class is probably better for domination and better for long-term engagements as opposed to the UMP uh, and that's the ACR with red dot sight now this gun is infamous in Call of Duty because it is like a laser uh, it has like zero recoil it's absolutely amazing you can pick off snipers with this thing I'm not kidding it's super super good probably one of the best assault rifles in the game if not the best assault rifle um, just because you really have no recoil like it, you're gonna hit your shots it's amazing um, so yeah that's the ACR Rafika again um, you can pick a different attachment for this one I just threw on red dot site because why not again we have sleight of hand pros so you reload incredibly fast with the ACR plus you aim down sights really really quickly here you have stopping power because the ACR actually uh, has a little bit lower day it's low on the damage end because it's super super accurate they kind of made it weaker than some of the other assault rifles like the scar uh, so to kind of boost it up you get that stopping power bonus and that's just really nice it'll help you with those kills um, and then we have ninja again because self-explanatory you want to be using your headset to hear your enemies you want to know when someone's coming around the corner before they know that you're there the next class is also the ACR but this time we're playing more defensively just like we did with the UMP class and if you notice every single thing on this is exactly the same as it was for the UMP you have sleight of hand which I do believe yeah I had that on the UMP as well you have sleight of hand you have hardline so you get only six kills with the ACR and you can get that nuke um, Ninja Pro again silent and you have the silencer on the ACR this time so you stay off the map so this is your stealth version of the of the class that we just talked about um, you'll have definitely lower damage output but you'll be completely invisible on the mini map um, nobody will, will be able to see you unless they have a UAV up but even still you'll be moving silently shooting silently really as long as you're playing very defensively nobody should really expect you to be where you are uh, and that's the advantage of using this and the UMP class I had to talk about it I left it for last because it's the worst of the bunch but it is definitely the class that will get you your most nukes especially if you're just a dirty filthy disgusting crusty camper if you're a filthy sweaty tryhard camping up in a room this will get you a tactical nuke almost all the time uh, really it's it's self-explanatory this is the infamous one-man army noob tube class you can pick whatever assault rifle you want I feel like the ACR and the scar are the two best you can pick the tar 21 if you can handle the recoil um, but I just the ACR is probably the new most noob friendly of the bunch so I picked the ACR because it also has more ammo than the scar which is important to know um, not that ammo really matters but still it's also more accurate so you have the ACR with the noob tube one man army lets you switch to a different class but you could switch back to the same class which means you can replenish your grenade launcher every single time so the plan is you go up in a room you place a claymore down at the door you use your noob tubes you lay down switch to this exact same class 
place your second claymore which you can only have two claymores at a time place your second claymore at the other entrance to whatever room that you're in and use your noob tubes again rinse repeat one man army is again one of the most powerful if not the most powerful perks in call of duty history strictly because of this class alone then you have damage danger close pro pro which makes your grenade launcher ridiculously powerful like you don't even have to shoot anywhere near people for it to get you an instant kill plus you have ninja so you're silent again uh, and then marty dome i threw on there just because it gets boosted damage from danger close so why not and there you have it that's the most obnoxious class in call of duty history but i would feel wrong not including it because it is the easiest class to get a nuke with and that's the topic of the video i don't recommend you use this class because what's going to happen is people are going to back out of the lobby and then you're not going to be able to get your nuke anyway um but you know in the event that people don't leave the lobby and they don't rush your your position with grenades and stuns and all sorts of stuff uh, because they will be pissed off at you for using the class um, then you can get a nuke pretty easily with this class and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you found some sort of class or theory that really is going to help you get these tactical nukes i'm super excited that this game is backwards compatible because i feel like a lot more people are going to be online now which is amazing because i absolutely love uh this game it's my favorite call of duty by far it's the one that i got addicted to first and i just i feel like it's the best uh but i'll talk about why it's the best in a different video uh that's what it guys so if you enjoyed drop a thumbs up subscribe and turn on my notifications that way you know the next time that i upload a video comment down below telling me what your favorite class is when getting a tactical nuke i'd love to see them because there's tons of great guns in this game and i definitely would like to know what you guys use to get your tactical nukes um and that's what i got so thank you so much for watching this has been omni archive we'll talk to you guys again soon peace